Hey everyone, it's James. Um, we're at home this weekend, and the middle of January might seem like a strange time to be making an air conditioner maintenance video, but I'm going to do it anyway, and I'm going to show you why. When I picked up DOS Bus from having her repainted recently, I noticed this. That's right, it's a dreaded crack in the air conditioner shroud. Now, if you saw my other video with the RV professor, you know this happens to me all the time. And I've had these things blow off in the middle of the Nevada desert before. So it's something I'm just going to take care of right now, even though it's winter and I feel like a little foolish going to buy an air conditioner shroud. So let me show you what we're going to need to get this done. <laughs> okay, um, obviously the first thing you're going to need to replace the shroud is another shroud. Um, I have a Dometic Penguin 2 on top of DOS Bus. Um, lots of them sold all over the place. Finding a replacement shroud shouldn't be too hard. Fortunately for me, they stock them at the nearby Camping World. And they have a new one on old style and I've got the old style here. Um, the next thing you're gonna need is a way to remove and reattach said shroud. And uh, I've picked up one of these. It's an air conditioner fin straightener. I'm hoping I'll be able to use this when I get up there, but we'll see what we find. And finally, the last thing I think I'm going to need is a source of compressed air. Now this, I'm hoping, we'll be able to use to clean out what I find up top. So let's head outside. Okay, before we get up on top of the RV, a few words about safety. Um, three things I want you to be aware of when you're working on top of the RV. Number one, uh, disconnect the shore power, disconnect your battery. The last thing you're going to want while you're 10 feet up in the air is to get a shock. Um, number two, uh, make sure the RV can support your weight. This is an automotive body, so I don't have too much to worry about here, but if you have like a, a little lightweight travel trailer or something, that may be something you need to consider. And number three, observe good ladder safety. Use a good ladder, have someone hold it, that kind of thing. Um, so with that out of the way, let's go up top. All right, here we go. It's actually not in too bad of a shape, probably because it's been replaced every year since I've had DOS bus. But we do need to clean it out. There's some gunk up in here. So I'm gonna get the camera and show you what I'm doing. Here's what she looks like with the shroud off. Now there's all this uh, foam gasketing around the top. The new shroud actually comes with that, but this is not in too bad of a shape, so I think I'm going to leave that as it is. Um, I think you can see there, there's some gunk down in the bottom there. I'm going to clean that out. I'm going to uh, blow out the fins and straighten them where they're a little messed up there on the top. And uh, other than that, we're in pretty good shape. So I've got my fin straightener and I've kind of assembled this upside down. Um, because I'm not going to be able to work pulling down very much. So I'm going to be pulling these little combs up through the fins to try to straighten them out, like this one here. I've got this, this ding on the side. So I'm going to find the appropriate comb, pull it up, and it will eventually, and I'm not the best at this, there we go. That's about as good as I'm going to get that. But there's a bunch more on the inside, and there's no way I'm going to be able to get the camera in there to show it. So I'm just going to finish with that, and then I'll come back to uh, blowing out with the uh, compressed air. Um, so the next thing I want to do is just kind of clean this out. Um, we have a number of things like hornet's nests and uh, other debris up here, and I've got some compressed air which I'm going to be using to blow out anything I think that needs to be cleaned up. So I'm going to do that and then I'll take a shot of when I'm all done. All right. <laughs> Ladybugs. All righty. And there she is about as cleaned out of debris as I can get her without disassembling and, uh, and washing all the parts with, open water or something so that's pretty good up top that's what we're going to go with um time to put the new shroud on okay so with all that done time to put the new shroud on
line up the holes. Got it. All right, it's time to reattach. All right, done and done. At least until next year when it cracks again and I have to replace it again. So that's it from the Fit RV here in uh, Salt Lake City in January. Bye.